Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. Normally I don't really do sit down videos in my university room so this is a bit weird so if you hear doors opening and closing and people walking and maybe someone knocking on my door I don't know, now you know why. Oh I'm so excited about this video. So I put a thing up my Instagram story because my motivation for YouTube at the moment is lacking which is kind of funny considering the topic of this video. But <laughs> I got a message yesterday from this beautiful girl called Marie and she asked me if I could do a video on how to stay motivated, especially with working out. So this sparked this little light bulb moment in my brain at 8.45 yesterday, or 8.46 yesterday morning. I thought, yeah, I can make a video on this. Like, of course I can make a video on this. I got this message at breakfast time, so I sat down and I was like, okay, 10 tips on motivation. I can do that. As I was writing them, I kept on coming up with more and more. So I've ended up with 12, which is okay. So here we have my 12 tips for motivation. This isn't specifically for working out, but you can take it in whatever context it needs to be to be useful to yourself. First of all, very quick disclaimer. Obviously, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a scientist. You know, this isn't my specialty. I did one week studying this in my management course last semester, and that is all the um, actual academic knowledge that I have surrounding this topic. So all the tips I am giving you are just literally stuff that I have put together myself from previous experience and what I know and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, take from what you will is what I'm saying. Start us off, I really fun, I know, just like a lecture, no, just kidding. To start us off, I was like, okay, to give myself a foundation to come up with these tips, I need to have a stern, solid definition of what motivation actually is to work off, to build off, and to make sure we're all on the same page. I came across like six different definitions, so I put them all together into one sentence long definition, I think it's a sentence. I didn't put any grammar in the sentence, so who knows. Definition for motivation I came up with is a reason or reasons for someone to behave or take action in a certain way, which enables them to strive towards a goal through persistence of a behavior. So breaking that down, so reason or reasons, that is like the fire within you, that internal motivation within you or a motivation you get from somewhere else, which gets you excited. Behave or take action, so to do something or to get you going, to get you started on your little journey or whatever. A certain way, so generally when it comes to motivation, the certain way is generally a positive sort of inclination. Enables, so something that allows you, it gives you the ability despite fatigue or other contributing factors which may disable you from being able to do whatever you want to do. Strive, you're not walking to your end goal, you are going at it with pace and you're going at it with determination. The goal is something you want to achieve, it's not something that your mum wants you to achieve, it's not something that your best friend wants you to achieve, it's something you want to achieve for yourself. And then lastly, persistence of a behaviour, so ongoing repetition and tenacity of a practice or practices which allows and leads you towards your end goal. So now that we have our sort of foundation of motivation, these are my 12 tips to sort of reach that peak of motivation level so that you can achieve those goals. When you have a goal, when you have a dream, you kind of sometimes you're like, oh, I don't think I can do that. And you kind of just dismiss it and put it off it into the side and be like, when I'm capable, I will do it. You, I'm telling you, you right now, you are capable of achieving that dream right now. I mean, I don't know you, I don't know your dream, but I know that you're capable of achieving it. Let's get this moving. My top, not 10, 12 tips to motivation. First tip is routine. So it takes anywhere from 18 to 66 days for a behavior to become automatic or to become a habit, pretty much. So routine and making a conscious effort to do things regularly as a routine will help you for it not to, like when you start off, it may feel like a chore. But once you get going and you start building up that momentum, it will no longer feel like a chore. Trust me when I say that. Here's a little bit of a... I'm just going to use this as a general example for like most of these points. If this is your first time seeing my face, your first time hearing me, first time watching my videos, you will not know that... Well, first of all, I'm from New Zealand. And if you don't know, New Zealand went into lockdown for obviously the COVID-19 pandemic at the end of March. And at the same time, my favourite YouTuber, Sarah's Day, she was starting her fitness ebook eight-week challenge. And I... I have done this challenge in the past, so I had the ebook. I was like, no excuses, Emma, we're gonna give this a go. And by having that routine and doing it every single day, so this is this was four months ago, and I was working out like start off three days a week, went to four days a week, five days a week, six days a week. I'm now working out six days a week because I want to, because it's now a routine, it's now a habit, and if I don't work out in the mornings, I feel weird. So it is definitely creating that routine. I will be the first to say I was not a person who enjoyed exercise when I started that challenge. And I love it now. So, 
there you go my second point is to schedule your day ideally before the day starts before you go to bed sit down 10 minutes plan out what time you're going to wake up what time you're going to bed what's happening in between what time you're going to have your meals and just fill in the gaps and plan out your day and try to stick to that as much as possible so that way when you wake up in the morning you have that drive you know you know what you're expected of that day and this also feeds into the next point point number three which is to utilize to-do lists so I am a big person for to-do lists I know that not everyone is that way inclined but I find it really helpful because I can visually see exactly what is expected of me so this sits hand in hand with point number two so when you have your to-do list and you have your schedule when you know what you have to do you can just fire that into your schedule and then you'll get eventually you get the stuff on your to-do list done through your schedule so I can sometimes have multiple to-do lists going during the day like general stuff that I need to do for myself uni YouTube so it's good to have those to-do lists to make sure that you're not well a not forgetting anything because I will be the first to admit I'm a forgetful person it helps make sure that you're taking those steps to get the little things done to lead to the bigger goal number four do what you need to do now so you can do what you want to do later without having to worry about what you haven't done so that's a little bit of a mouthful I've actually talked about this before on my channel I no idea what video it was in but this is my philosophy I've had for a couple of years now because procrastination is a cruel thing and it affects the best of us trust me so by doing what you need to do first then you can sit down and watch that YouTube video play that game on the PlayStation I don't know you can sit down and do what you want to do without having to worry about that stuff that you haven't done so for me Sarah's Day released a video two days ago and I really want to watch it but there's so much stuff I have to get done so I'm gonna get all of that stuff done first actually today and this afternoon I'm going to sit down I'm going to watch that video not having to worry about anything that I haven't done because I've done it all it also works as motivation to get your stuff done so you can reward yourself afterwards if that makes sense number five be kind to yourself and take breaks you're not a robot so I'm not saying sit down and work your butt off for like three weeks straight and then give yourself a break I'm saying sit down do your work for the day or for the hour or whatever you like whatever time period you've given yourself and then give yourself like you know a 20 minute hour two hour whatever break you need to make sure when you get back to it you are refreshed you have a clear mindset and you're really you've got that drive within you that motivation to keep going because there's no point in going into a burnt out because then it's hard to get back on that motivation what's the word that I can use motivation <laughs> oh gosh that motivational role that doesn't make really make sense number six fuel your body well and drink lots of water you will be surprised how much this will help definitely for me drinking water is a little bit of an issue because I'm lazy and can't really be bothered walking down the end of the hallway to fill up my drink bottle as you know that's, a, that's not something I should be saying in this video when you are hydrated you it's obvious you're gonna work a lot better and if you're filling your body with good stuff not like bad stuff your body's gonna be functioning much better I mean you're not gonna put diesel in a petrol car so number seven have a friend who can hold you accountable and you can do the same for them so if you're a competitive person this can also create competition to get things done to beat the other person or to stop them from nagging so say you have someone who so for example for me during quarantine my brother's girlfriend she's in Australia she was doing the same fitness program as me and we'd like check in with each other just make sure that we've both done it so that kind of has someone there to hold you accountable but then I'd get up in the morning and I'd do it first and I'd be like have you done it I've already done it so it's kind of like a little bit of a competition but they can also help to motivate you to get those things done if you are like a competitive person and you want to beat someone else then if that works for you that works for you and that's fine also with that I have a gym buddy here at university who is Morgan she's amazing she gets up with me at like seven o'clock in the morning and comes to the gym and just having that extra person there so when you wake up in the morning you don't just go back to sleep and think oh when you wake up in the morning and you know oh they're waiting on me that can act as motivation as well number eight go to bed early to wake up early and I understand not everyone's gonna agree with this some people I know are night owls and that is something that you you don't really have all that much control over that and I understand that as well so I personally am a morning person so I like to wake up I like to get things done and if you go to bed early you can wake up early I mean that's just common sense making sure you get that full eight hours of sleep and like it's common sense if you go to bed past midnight you're gonna be waking up past eight o'clock in the morning half your morning's gone yeah I don't know personally for me I'm more productive in the mornings but everyone's different so it's about finding what works for you and then making sure that you do what works for you number nine have a goal have a dream so this is what I touched on a bit earlier in the video but when you have that goal that you are striving towards and you can see it trust me you 
that goal that you've got, it is within reach. It's just a matter of taking the steps to get there. So if you have that goal and have that dream, break it down. Think of steps you can take to achieve it. And having that goal, having that dream, that links back to the to-do list and then taking those steps. Writing those in a to-do list, incorporating those into a schedule, making sure you're taking time to do those things, and that will motivate you to achieve what you want to achieve. Like there's things I want to achieve and I have them in the back of my mind and I am very guilty of this, right? I have them in my mind but actually also writing them down or speaking them out loud, speaking those dreams into existence can work wonders. <laughs> Even if you have that goal or that dream, just telling a friend about it can also hold you accountable. So linking back to point number seven, communicating that dream even if it's just with yourself. Self-affirmation like I'm going to achieve this or whatever that can motivate you. And you're holding, I mean, holding yourself accountable is also a very good tool as well. Number 10, don't worry about what other people think. I mean, it's just a given. Don't worry about what other people think about you because why should their opinion matter for what you're doing? Why should their opinion stop you from chasing your dreams? Why should their opinion have any validity to sway your opinion on what you think is right and what you think is wrong? Number 11, this is a big one. This is very social media related. And I guess it can be an offline thing as well and an in-person thing but follow people who lift you up not drag you down so in a in-person in real life situation toxic friendships they're not helping anybody cut them off and that's the same goes for following people on instagram i literally purely only follow people who lift me up friends family like there's a lot of people that i know of but i don't particularly follow them on instagram because I want to keep that circle that I follow very small because when I open Instagram, I want to see people I care about. Following people that lift you up and you feel like you have common interests and in things. So when you see their stuff come up, it's not dragging you down and making you feel like you're not doing a good job. Because trust me, from me to you, you are doing an amazing job and don't forget that. And I mean, I'm going to be totally blatantly honest here. If I am someone who isn't making you feel better about yourself, I give you permission to unsubscribe. I give you permission to unfollow. If I'm not lifting you up, I'm telling you, you can unfollow me. I'm not going to be offended because I care about you and I want you to be happy. And number 12, this is the last one. I was going to try and finish off with a bang, but I mean, this is pretty mundane. But stop comparing your progress to others. If you've heard it once, you've heard it a million times. Don't compare your level 1 to someone else's level 20. It's obvious. Everyone's at different stages in life. Everyone's experienced different things. No two people see life from the same perspective. Okay, I'm going to be... This is just a situation. So comparing your progress to other people's progress is probably going to knock you down a bit. And you're going to be like, oh, but how come they're getting this and they're getting that and blah, blah, blah. That is because you're at different stages in your life, you're at different stages in your journey. Your dreams are different. Because even if you have the same dream as someone else, the steps you're taking to get there may be different because that is how you have chosen to take those steps. And that is totally fine. No one's journey in life is the same and that's what makes us unique. And I cannot stress that enough. You are uniquely you and that is beautiful. That is amazing. That is incredible. And you need to cherish that. You need to look after that. And you need to be yourself. This is going a little bit of a tangent, not going to lie. But it all leads back to the main idea of motivation. You don't have to implement them all at once. Just doing one at a time. Implementing those 12 tips slowly into your daily routine. You will be amazed at how your motivation starts to pick up. A lot of people ask me about my exercise and how I motivate myself to do it. That underlying reason, I will admit, probably main contributing factor, routine. Becomes a habit becomes part of your normal everyday routine, you'll be amazed at how much that helps you to get out of bed in the morning, put your two feet on the ground and get going for the day. So if you're watching this right now, I know deep down within you, you may not even realize it, but you have a dream, you have a goal, and I challenge you to dig within you somewhere. You may know this dream. You may have been thinking about this dream throughout this video and been like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. From me to you, you can do it. And I challenge you to go after it. So yeah, before I start turning this into a TED talk, I need to wrap this up. So thank you so much for watching. Those are 12 steps that I take most of the time to help me be motivated to achieve what I want to achieve and to meet those goals and meet those dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, chase your dreams, and I'll see you in my next video. I actually can't speak. Procrastination station, that's long gone. Well, the amount of times I've said hand in hand in this video, my vocabulary is very limited. That was a really bad analogy. How are we going for time? Okay, let's flip this over. Ugh. Rather than just, this might sound a little bit vain from me, if, and if no one else agrees with me, that's really awkward.